Hello everyone, and welcome to Norwood Hitchhike. Uh, I don't know what that was. I don't know if I heard that. Anyways, I'm probably gonna be preparing like the whole video because it is now. Ow! Ow! I just hit my elbow on the desk. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, I'm not recording this very long after I record the Home Alone episode, the first one. Uh, this one is supposedly 40 minutes. Hooray. Um, so I imagine maybe the episode time will increase by 20 each time. So it's very possible that when I get Carson House, it'll be 60 minutes long. So I'll probably end up turning into two hours long. Although I didn't very make Home Alone much longer, but I don't want to be in the intro for too long. I just want to get Norwood Hitchhike started. Let's do this. Phew, all right. Here's Fathom Episode 2, Norwood Hitchhike, June 16th, oh damn, this happened to me when I was 19, I'm a little over 21 now, I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt, I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it out may help, even if just a little bit. I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. I'd go to every convention I get the chance to, and sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Big mistake. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives, but a plane ticket wouldn't have, would have been too expensive. Hmm. The convention, this convention I was at went great. And now it was the day to drive back home, but when I set off I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take a long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over a 12 hour drive. 12 hours. WA is the drive? Seriously? Uh... Aiden. Uh, I'm gonna try not to die, because you can die on this. So, I'll read my text messages once I get to a point where I can stop. This is a pretty nice drive. Hello, other drivers. I would look at that, but I shouldn't text and drive. Some nice music. Oh, pretty good driver. And halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. All right, well, that's great. So near halfway, so you're almost halfway through the 12-hour drive. So you're almost at six hours. Okay. All right. Look, where's the gas station? I'm not checking text messages until I feel like I ain't gonna die. Imagine seeing one on the road, like, kind of jerk their wheel every now and then. See that? There's a guy there. Drive safe, Holly. Don't forget to call me. Let's talk when I get home. Oh no. Oh. Oh, okay. It's not that bad. Drive safe, Holly. Don't forget to call me. Got dad. Anything else leaving now? Drive safe, Holly. Where did you reach? Show about six hours away from the city. I stuck in a jam. 
Told you to take that flight. Oh, it's gonna be late when you reach back. Hope you're feeling all right. Aiden Williams. So this is your internet friend. The big girl. What the? F Discord. We got ticks. So I'll see if I can get the car. Let you know. Finally going to take Milo on a walk. Lol. All right. Lol. Okay. The plan is on. Hell yes. Wait. You're getting the car? Yep. Big girl. What the? You sure Ash can't come? I'll get the skateboard too, so there's a really cool skate park nearby. Sounds fun. Discord, where are you? Almost there, I don't see you. I don't see why. Peach shirt. It was fun, I had a good time. Thanks for joining me. Smiley face. You sure driving all the way back? I don't really have a choice now, do I? Almost seems like a dude, but okay. Could have left tomorrow morning. Okay, give me a call when you reach back to your cave. Okay, Dad. I'm not sure if I'll be. The, it'll be this lifetime. But what do you mean? Stuck in the biggest traffic jam in the country. That sucks. It's not good. You could hear either. I think it's pure pollution. That's it. I'm rerouting here. You gotta do what you gotta do. Facts. Okay, let's go into the Norwood gas station. Yeah. Ma'am? Hi, can I get ten dollars on pump two? You went to the bridge by yourself? Yeah, why? Not a lot of people head down there this time of the year. Be careful. You got it. I'm not joking, man. Be careful. It's not safe out there. Right, a century, you know how many people have been going missing down there. <gasps> and people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say the Norwood Valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down from trees. Cool. Okay. Holly? Mom? How many fucking... Messages do I have? And one more thing. If you see a woman in white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Yeah, stop on a gas as hard as you can. Why? Some people say that she died in a car accident there on prom night. Seems say she she seeks vengeance after she was murdered there. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never, ever, under any circumstance, pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out, they ain't what you think they are. They just ain't. What you doing on my car, fool? I don't know if you'll find any shopping at the store, but we're out dog food because you're using my mile, I'll pay you back. God damn it, Mom. Alright. Sure, we'll get Milo some dog food. That'd be five dollars, ma'am. Alright. Ma'am, a woman? I'm married. Alright. At least I'm like 19. And not like 14. Which I was in the last one. Just way too close to my actual age. Alright. Tank and I was off to the road again. All right, let's go. I'm a pretty good driver, I feel. All right, on the road again. On the road again. All right, so I imagine it might be a lady. White monsters truly really do exist. And everything alone looks really like you and me. That is true. I don't want to read text messages while I'm on the road. Yeah, because texting and driving is not good. I'd imagine. 
What? Why did my lights go out? Bumpy road. Damn. Just slam the gas as hard as you can when you see a lady in white. Okay, well, at least there's a car in front of me. Alright, driving without the light on has proven to be the hardest thing in this game. Finally, my lights are back on. I can see. Whoa. 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 I did see a person earlier. Oh. the bridge. I'll admit I was a triple driver. I didn't hit anything. Whatever. I can pretty good music I must say so myself. Alright, this hasn't been too scary so far. What? Fourth message room. Static. Oh no. Car slowing down, I'm not pressing the S key. I thought there was a lady in white. Oh, bunny. Did you see that bunny? I don't... I don't like the static. I do not like that static. Boo! Trust me. I've seen enough Supernatural to know. Don't pick up a lady in white. I saw two big logs in the middle of that bunk in white. I like... I guess you were logs, but those wouldn't budge. I want to see if someone would really put them there. Those were heavy. Well, we'll move them out of the way. Start back up. Oh. Well, uh, I just got a channel no longer with no phone service. Surprising there's time for the gas station. You gotta get paid before it was not expired. Right? Alright, that was just a trouble. I'm not saying I was starting to leave. Or the bulk of that history channel, I would be lying if I didn't feel sl the slightest out of ease. I don't mean to make it sound like a cliche horror story, but throughout my life I was told not to take rides from strangers. But I'm gonna have to take a ride from a stranger, but at that moment I had no choice. God damn it. I was scared to think how long it would be before someone to how long it would take for someone to pass.
p.m. Almost midnight. Whew. It's actually June while I'm recording this, so pretty cool. I saw a car nearing. Oh! I don't understand how somebody could have a shant like that. Oh! <sighs> well. 10.43 p.m. Dude, how long were you standing out there for? It's only you at least sat in your car. Like, god. Another car. My bad, a, a truck. Okay, cool, he stopped. Yeah, this is gonna put a halt on your 12 hour trip. You're the girl from the gas station. Thank you so much for stopping. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. I can't call for help, there's no phone service. You think I get a ride? Where are you heading? Just up the road. Hop in. Thank you so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up. Just throw it back. I won't be here for too long. Okay. Wait, we gotta hurry up and get my stuff. Before he leaves. I don't think we're in any actual like time limit here. She's still trying. Yes. Priority is the dog food. My other stuff. It's fine. Boy, oh boy. Although I know that the game gets like a lot, lot scarier, apparently. So I hope I don't die. This is gonna take a while. Get the furniture there. I mean, furniture, what the hell? Oh, I gotta get the skateboard. Couldn't I just skateboard there? Like, let's be realistic. Oh, there's this game out there. I saw Markiplier play it. And it's this game where you uh, accept a ride from a stranger, and the stranger is like an evil stranger. So. So, wait. I am a lady. You think I'm wearing white? You can't see what I'm wearing because apparently I don't have a body, but... Do you think I'm the lady in white? Well, I know it's called Norwood Hitchhike because you end up taking the hitchhike. But, would have been pretty cool to have it be where you pick up a hitchhiker. And that hitchhiker is evil. And you have to make sure that he or she doesn't kill you. So... I don't know. Alright, last luggage, I promise, mister. Was the cap really that important? Wait, my car broke down. To hurry up. I'm done. Finally, now hop in and be quick. Sorry. Let's hop in. He looks like a nice old man. Doesn't look like he can really hurt me. Oh, but I don't regret saying that. I mean, he's got glasses on. I mean, that isn't a guy I met that make him a nice guy. So. You won't tell me who you are, where you're going. I'd rather not, if you say so. Okay, I don't want to have a conversation with this man. 
He's being awfully nice, but, I mean, he's kind of rude about it. You're really lucky I had to be on the side of the town tonight. I must say, you were one brave young woman. How's that? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? I think it was a battery. Are you sure? It's my dad's. It's pretty old. You're saying someone sabotaged my car? Why would someone do that? So, what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? He really creeped me out. Interesting. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. So is it true? What, the monster? Let's see, I've never seen the monsters for myself, but there are there are some things and I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey listen, I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them and you don't be bothered. What? Is there like a cult here or something? No, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. Ah, I knew this was a nice guy. Twelve oh eight AM I mean, after a little bit of small talk he dropped by and by a motel. Apparently, they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. Okay. My stuff is here. Let's go in. And sign in. Gal need a broom to shack up for the night? How much is it for a room? Forty dollars for single. What the fuck? Forty dollars for a single? Pay cash only. Alright. I'll pay. Room number nine, right over there. Okay, room nine. We'll talk about the car. Ninety dollars. Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. Pay. Alright, right. Tommy? Good, I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. Okay. Uh, interesting. But I got key room nine. Where's my car? One, two, nice and warm inside except there was a smell type of musky smell you get from old houses okay apparently this is where the spooky shit goes down so Alright, we're gonna go to sleep. <sighs> Is she that thing flipping through? Caught a foresight, but there was something very off about that place. I ain't going out there. I'm glad that something wasn't right. I 
The feeling tiredness was overcome by anxiety. How could Bukovia get that? I so. I ain't going out there. I don't see anyone out there. <sighs> Fuck that dude. <clears throat> oh my god. So what, did they got like a coffee vending machine? I wanna talk to someone. Buddy, buddy. You have a great night's sleep. Uh, there was a guy peeping. Peeping peeper. Where's the coffee machine? Can I ask him where the coffee machine is? Look at that dude peeping through my window. <sighs> Did I die? Drugged? Who the hell drugged the coffee? Okay. Who the fuck drugged the coffee? That's what I wanna know. 3.18 a.m. I was sedated. Someone probably entered my room. He's in the closet. Who is it? Joe from front desk, open the door. Didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? I have complaints for what you were making all those goofy noises for. Whatever it is, you should keep it down, miss. Is that where your eyes are in? Mention the coffee machine. Are you messing with me? We don't have no coffee machine. It's right over there. Okay, okay, here. I've had enough of your crazy goons here. Once I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. Follow me. I hate my job. Okay, it's very possible for the stalker dude to get out of my closet but I want to check my closet just in case when I get back because I want to see 
if he's still there, because that is terrifying. What happened? Show me your coffee machine now. Go back to the room. I swear to God it was here. I say go back now. There should be some medication in your room that should offer you some relief. Check the table by the TV. Oh, I don't want to go back in there. He left the closet, you can tell. I want to sleep. I want to go to the closet. Hello? Okay. Can you hear me?
fucking hear me. Oh my god, Joe, to this day I find it really weird that the manager inferred not to get the police involved as it would have affected Nortel's population of the situation. I believe the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Time arrived with the car that was what felt like a year, and then went on long road trips again, I would always take airplanes. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I don't even know if you can hear it right now. Anyways, bye bye.